Ah, uh, so we do have him back. In fact, Bowser. Ooh. Okay, we got Zelda versus Bowser on the stream for pulls. Is this the bunch check? Are they starting Omega? Yeah, Omega Hyrule Temple. Oh, uh, I wanted to see Omega Hyrule Temple. Wait, no, they're they're playing, right? They definitely have to be playing, right? This is like a pretty a pretty mean yeah, button check. <laughs> mean button check. I think. It, I think oh yeah, they're, they're actually doing it. <laughs> they yes. went into it. Maybe. No, Are they? That was a really interesting start this guy's to the game. Swinging. They were kind of just me, like throwing out moves randomly. Pug West wasn't even paying attention. I honestly and then still can't tell. You. This <laughs> Bowser is like swinging random moves. Yeah, I think it's a button check. But I think. Uh, I guess Pug West just doesn't care. Yeah. Definite button check. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to see the Omega High Rule too. <laughs> All right, so Uprise's buttons do indeed work on his controller. So we might be ready to finally start the actual game. You know. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. So button check with Zelda. Solely for the button I'm check. really using Marth. GG. The main squeeze. Got you. His Zelda is really strong, though, but... Definitely looking like he wants to start off strong with the Marth. Especially against a character like Bowser. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for Pug West to really just kind of outrange the, this Bowser and not really get in his face too often because if he does get grabbed, it's yep. too much damage. Oh man. Try to uh, sell his thought with the down tilt edge guard to immediate down his spike. Alright, right now, uh, Uprise are really not looking like he knows how to deal with this fair spacing for Marth. Oh! Could he get up attack? Because if he did neutral get up, he would have gotten blown up by that fully charged. Up smash, Pug West going ham. Dance to play one into the falling up air tipper. Really uh, great movement right now with Mars. Uh, I like that. Approaching with an air dodge into an up air. Doesn't really follow up much afterwards. Nice up smash at shield though. Yeah. Uh, it's still not out of it. The they're running for Uprising here. He just needs to get a few grabs to bring this back. But yeah. Tipper jab into forward air. Clean just like that. Versions. Only 33% taking Pug West facing like uh, a Marth main. A true yeah. Marth main. And Tipper he's basically just keeping Upriser like right at the tip of his sword the entire time. That's what you want to do with yeah. Bowser. Or not Bowser, but Marth. Especially after his uh, range got buffed in the latest patch. Yeah, I like his spacing. It's really hard for Uprise to actually punch out of shield because he's spaced at the max distance. Oh my goodness. Oh, waits for the air dodge. going to come back from this. Covering the landing once again. Pug West looking so clean right now. Yeah, Uprise doesn't really look like he knows how to get in versus this character. Did not even try to challenge that shield breaker. Alright. Almost destroyed him on the platform there with yet another forward air. Pug West spacing so well right now. Almost filling up a stock. What is he going to go for here? Oh yeah, he yeah, wanted to off the spike. He wanted to go out with style. He knows he's got this game in the bag. Ooh, no punish. <laughs> Waiting at the ledge, patient. Nice spacing once again on the shield. Oh my god. Yeah. Free punish. Gets the shield break. Good night. Into a fully charged tippered shield break. You are gone. Done. Bring in spacing. Hey, what's up? Uh. So, let's see what uh, Upriser is going to do. Differently, like you said, he didn't really seem to know how to get in on Marth. Nope. Especially when, uh, you know, your spacing is as immaculate as uh, Pug West. Yeah, the thing is, uh, Bowser's a grappler, so he actually has to has get, to get in. Yeah. His main damage comes from grabs. But the way that uh, Pug West is spacing, it really looks like there's very few openings to where he can actually just punch out a shield to get a grab. And he's not really mixing up his pattern for how he's choosing to approach either. So, Pug West is just kind of having a field day. 
but uh, let's see if we change some things up on Lila here. I don't think Pogos is too uncomfortable on this stage. I definitely saw him play on this stage earlier. But we'll see if he can actually take advantage of these platforms. Maybe catch Pogos landing on top of him, get a little bit of shield pokes from there. Right now, though, it looks like Pogos is doing that to him. All the juggles in the world right now. Bowser's definitely struggles to land. And we have a character like Marth who just has so many great hitboxes. It's not going to be easy. Oh, so much percent tacked onto Upriser right now. Similar to the last game. Just strong lead. Nice dancing blade to cover the roll as well. Yep, oh, tipper forward air. No. Not quite, but one more will do it. Though. Nair to cover the get up attack. Pugwiz really strong. He had the ledge. Cover wow. the roll with the charge of marriage. Almost like he just said, yeah, I know you're going to roll he, right here. He definitely read that. He called them out entirely. Only took 18%. He charged the up smash before the like he had even grabbed the ledge. Yep. Definitely has a read on exactly how yeah. Upriser wants to get off the ledge. Wow, all the free damage here. Pugwiz looking way too comfortable in this match right now. Upriser really hasn't done much to pressure Pug West, and now he's in an off stage position yet again. Forced to go high, easy punish. Air Dodge is a little preemptive, also. Pug West is definitely in a position to punish those every single time. Oh man, Ooh. trying to finish it off with a spike. Yeah, Upriser cannot touch this man. Alright, let's see if we can get something started. Okay, that'll do it. Bowser Bomb off the edge. Uh, he's still at a really high percentage, though. Yeah. If he can take advantage of this rage, he can bring this uh, this match back pretty hard. But he needs to actually get a grab. Yeah, he's he's gonna not gotten that one grab. grab this entire set. Oh, here we go. Up throw. Is this it? Oh. Is this the? Is this what he needed? It, wow. Dress him down. He's got a little attack. bit of momentum. Okay. Oh, oh man. Jab to jab one into yeah. Bowser Bomb. All right. Now this match okay. is suddenly in a position where he can just bring this right back. Up throw, no. no. All right, I don't, I'm not even that. entirely sure what uh, percentage the... Oh, that's gonna be got yeah. it. Yeah. Back but he I think was actually bringing that back. For with me. Marth at 70% and at Bowser's at such high rage, do you think that uh, up throw, the uh, up throw, up air combo would have yeah. connected and killed that, that yep. percent? Yeah, I think so. So that was pretty much a last hit game. Yeah, it was. After Bowser's a grappler, man. After he had struggled so him. long. Like, you can rack up all his percent on Bowser, but if you don't kill him... It only takes like what four or five grabs. Yeah, maybe even less than that. And a couple hits stock here and there. Yeah, definitely started to bring that back when he was not scared to actually rush in and get those grabs. Yeah, he definitely could have abused Browser's amazing pivot grab a little bit more though. Yes, 